Liga MX playoffs are in full effect. La Liga, we saw America face off against Chivas in the semifinals, and we just finished watching Cruz Azul going mm -hmm. up against Monterrey. Let me start with Chivas versus America, Please. a game in which going into it was nil-nil after a result that I thought Chivas should have ended with a goal lead given how they performed at the Estadio Acron. I already expressed my thoughts on that, but that is how I ultimately felt was that feeling of like, damn, we should have left with a lot more but we did it, man. And ultimately, it was that lack of finishing that came back to bite us, man. Because in this second leg at the Estadio Azteca, America just got really organized. They got really organized. And it was incredibly tough for this Chivas offense to break them down. Yeah. And ultimately, they were beating us in the air a lot. And it was through a set piece where Israel Reyes got the game-winning goal to push America ahead. Once they got that goal, we needed two goals and a half to get it, to get the result. And ultimately, that just wasn't going to happen with the way that we were playing. They shut us down. And credit to America because they got the job done. They did what was required out of them. And I know that a lot of people, including myself, were kind of critical of how America has approached this Ligia playoff so Ooh, far. Yeah. Not looking as dominant or as convincing as they were last year. This time around, they're looking a little bit more uh, calculated, I guess, is how I ultimately would interpret it. Because despite all the criticisms, bro, they're here once again in a Liga MX final and back-to-back -back years chasing the bicampeonato, which is just so rare to see. Yeah, yeah. We most recently saw it with Atlas. Leon did it one time, mm -hmm. and I believe that's it, man. There's not many teams that are able to say they did that achievement. So America is in the is a nominee for potentially putting off something incredible in this league, and they did it by beating their huge rivals in Chivas. And God damn it, does it hurt, bro, to lose to them? I've been having a really, really bad weekend, my friend. Really bad. But once again, I always respect and admire greatness. And I think America is in the midst of that right now because they got a good team, bro. Oh, yeah. But I think you shouldn't feel too hard done for Chivas' performance against America on the second leg. I thought America were going to dominate way more. But honestly, the first half, Chivas made it a scrap. They made it as tight as they possibly could have. And if anything... Chivas actually had some really good possession. What they ultimately couldn't do was just translate that to genuine final third options, man. Marin, Alvarado, Keikao when he came on, though they had a lot of energy and activity, they just couldn't really get past the America players one-on-one -on -one, or they just couldn't combine with each other to create a clear chance. That's the only thing I really have to criticize about Chivas is they play great, I'd say, in the midfield mm -hmm. and even defensively, mm -hmm. man. Honestly, if they just had one or two players who were just very aggressive offensively or who were a lot better in one-on-one -on -one situations, honestly, I think Chivas could have gotten a really massive result on the road because, as you already kind of alluded to, America, although they did put in a professional performance, I don't think I could say it was convincing. I'll be completely honest. America shorted up in the second half. Don't get me wrong. They definitely nullified Chivas in the second half. They had a lot more of the ball. That's when they eventually got the goal. But other than that, America, and I've said it this whole playoffs, they just don't look the same. They don't look as, they don't look like they have the same bite that they had in the regular season and ultimately i think the best way i can describe it they look a half step slow to everything they don't have the same dynamicism that they had in the regular season and honestly i think that's actually a major point of contention for america because that's why they were so good it was their quickness their aggressiveness on and off the ball they've lost a bit of that in this playoffs so yes chivas did lose but <sighs> Again, I, I think if Chivas just had more attacking options, they could have beaten America. I just, I feel like had we made it tighter, had we gotten that equalizing goal, I, I feel like America can get into that gear if needed. I feel like they're almost coasting by because they realize that they do have that ability. They're that good. They're that experienced now. I feel like although they they do deserve to be they criticized are, yeah. the way you have, they still have done enough to get through. And it's been a sort of lazy approach so far. I'm hesitant to go as far as to say that they've dropped in quality. I wonder if you know, it's only been three playoff games so far or four, four playoff games so far. I wonder if come final time, we just see the same old version. I think that's still there in them is ultimately what I'm saying. It def I, Again, and we prefaced it when we talked about what could happen in the second leg. At the very end of the day, America still possess their individual quality, right? Players like Henry Martin, Julian Quinones, Endejas, in the midfield Fidalgo, uh, Richard Sanchez off the bench. There's immense quality individually. I just think as a collective, America are not performing the way that I think most people thought that they would. And 
I guess I'll get to a spoiler. I think it might hurt them in the final. We'll see. We'll see because they're set to face off against either Cruz Azul or Monterrey going into today's evening. And it ends up being Cruz Azul, La Máquina, who mm -hmm. sees themselves in a final. A beautiful story anytime we see Cruz Azul go deep in that yeah. Liga, man, honestly. And it was after a very dramatic Jesus. result. A very dramatic game at home against Monterrey where they went up 1-0 to push the aggregate lead to 2-0. But then Monterrey came back and scored two back-to-back -back goals after consistently flirting with oh the goal God. the entire match they get two back-to-back -back goals it's two to an aggregate but Cruz Azul has the advantage because of seeding and then it's like 20 minutes of Monterrey looking for that final goal to get them through to the freaking final and they couldn't find it Monterrey yet again pissed me off in a playoff setting. They should have gotten a goal in the first half. Berterame had a wide open chance. Brandon Vasquez, not maybe not wide open, but had several half chances that ultimately he just completely fluffed. Maxi Mesa looking like he can't even hit a simple target by just skying his opportunities. Most of the crosses were just overdone. Most players couldn't get onto the end of a lot of the balls that were being distributed from Canales and from Cortizo. The play, the buildup was great, man. From Monterrey, they didn't have that bite. They didn't, they didn't have that dog in them to really put it past Cruz Azul because it was right there. It was right there for Monterrey. And even in the second half, they were giving Cruz Azul everything they had, but it was Cruz Azul who scored the mm -hmm. one goal mm -hmm. on the break and they just caught Monterrey off guard. Sure. And it's that one goal that ultimately fucked Monterrey because they would have gone through had they just won the game 2-0. Mm -hmm. Monterrey ultimately have only themselves to blame. It's super frustrating because honestly... Honestly, they were the better team in this second leg. For sure. Cruz Azul absorbed pressure great. Do not get me wrong, but Cruz Azul could not get past that midfield for large portions of this game. They did well to get that one goal on the break, but Monterrey should have won this match, bro. But they didn't. They they didn't. And I, I, I'm, I'm just fed up with this team, bro. I'm fed well, up with this be. team, bro. No, for me, it's the club, bro. I'm tired yeah, of I'm this fed club. Up. And uh, even last year with what happened against, I think it was Atletico San Luis, the way he got kicked out. Yeah. In the quarterfinal, Stan Ortiz yes. is on fraud watch. I've been saying it, and I've been on his ass for a long time now, man. He looks speechless on the sideline after what happened today. Like, he just didn't know what to do. I think it's on both him and the players with the way they showed out. There were sitters that we saw were missed today sitters, from Monterrey. Bro. But it also makes me wonder, how did they not score at home? And this is what the hell I, happened. Bro. Great point, because this is what I want to double down on. You brought this up last league. Yeah. I think Ortiz Loki might be a fraud. Maybe High Key, actually. I'm gonna change it. Yeah. High Key okay. is a fraud because he had such a conservative approach in that first leg in Monterrey. How are you gonna do that in Idiot, front of your whole man. Idiot, bro. Stupid. Knowing the um the the attacking options that you have at your full disposal. Get your goals at home. Then figure it out in the second leg. Don't try to keep it tied in the first leg. It bites you because you end up conceding. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This, this is all on Ortiz in that first leg. How he has not figured out to consistently start Cortizo also boggles my mind. He should be starting every single game. He should be the focal point of the attacking midfield alongside Canales. The fact that he even thinks yeah, to true. bench him I think is stupid at this point. I'm done with Ortiz. I'm mm -hmm. done with Monterrey. Uh, I, they should have won this game, but I'm glad Cruz Azul went through. Yeah, on the other side of the pitch, you have a young, up-and-coming 44-year-old mm. coach. I don't really remember how to say his name correctly. Anselmi. Anselmi. Guiding his team to a Liga, Liga Mekis final in his first year with them. Yeah. Truly amazing. Coming from Ecuador after coaching in the Independiente del Valle to a Copa Sudamericana victory. Joins Cruz Azul, brings Faravelli with him, yeah. and now he has him in a freaking Liguilla final, man. What a story for him. This does not happen often in Liga and Mekis where you see a first year, first season coach go this deep into the tournament and have an actual shot at winning. So shout out to him because we're talking about coaches on fraud watch, such as uh, Tan Ortiz. This is a coach who is on, on honestly like up and comer watch. Like He could mean something to this league one day if he continues at this pace because doing this with Cruz Azul, I think is really, really special. Yeah, I love the way Cruz Azul play when they're on it. They were not on it today, but honestly, prior to this match, they've been excellent you have players like Rivero and Faravelli who are such good distributors and they have 
always options on the width, whether it's Rotondi on the left side or Antuna on the right side, there's always an option to play it very, very wide. And then that allows the rest of the team to kind of join up. And it's just really good use of the pitch, in my opinion. They play a very, honestly, I guess South American type of football, honestly. It's very much emphasis on the pass, getting it wide, and being a little bit creative. And I like seeing Cruz Azul like this because, I mean, low-key, not a lot of Mexican clubs play the way that this Cruz Azul team play. Sepulveda, all of a sudden, is getting a lot of goals with this team, and I do think it's purely because of the way that Anselmi sets his team up. It's really interesting. It's so fun to watch this Cruz Azul team play when they're at their peak, and I just hope that they play a little bit better in the final. That's all I can ask them to do. That's the, that's the question that we have to set up is who is going to win this final between America and Cruz Azul. I think the last time Cruz Azul was in a final was against America, correct? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so this will be another try, another attempt at winning the title. Sheesh. Interesting that it's against America, man. I, this America team that we have described as night and day from what they were last year, but one that I believe still has a lot more to offer. And versus the Cruz Azul side, who ultimately got pretty lucky to see themselves get a result mm -hmm. and get through to this final. So I think it'll be a really tight matchup and it'll be really exciting. But when I think about who's going to step up, who's going to find that grit, who's going to find that ability to win a big match in these big, big settings. The way that I saw Cruz Azul look so erratic today in moments and at one point even look a little lost once Monterrey got the momentum. For sure. I don't see America matching that energy in terms of... Uh, you know, being on the ropes as much. So I actually do have America winning this tournament once again and getting the B campeon because the lowest point for Cruz Azul, I think, is a little bit more concerning than America's lowest point. Oh, man, I can't disagree with that. The I, I cannot disagree with that. But I'm going Cruz Azul. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going Cruz Azul. We got baby. And I'm I'm pure. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. This is the lead to do it, bro. <laughs> the lead to do it. Yeah. But I am banking on the fact that I think Cruz Azul can take advantage of the fatigue that I see in America. That's it. I think Cruz Azul are on a bit more of a vibe. Yes, they did get lucky today. I'm not not taking that away. And I, again, I've already said it. The individual talent in America is probably better than Cruz Azul. But I think the cohesiveness that have gotten Cruz Azul to this final will outdo the lacklusterness that America possess at this moment. America have probably been the better team overall in this clausura. I think Cruz Azul will outdo them in this final. I do know for sure for both teams, they got to wake the fuck up. Like both yeah, teams yeah, both teams like, do. Like, come yeah. on now. Let, no more fucking second guessing. No hesitancy out there. Like, it's a final. Let's go for it. Let's play our best level possible. If we see both sides kind of just shrug their way along, I think that'll be really disappointing. I want to see a team reach their absolute peak. Now is the time to do it. There's a trophy on the line. Go out and get it. I'm going America. You're going Cruz Azul. Folks, let us know in the comments down below. Who are you going with to win La Liguilla? Who is going to be the victor this time around? Will it be America getting back-to-back -back trophies? Or will it be La Máquina, Cruz Azul, winning a trophy?